Hi, Awaria. It's Traps in here, and welcome back to our adventures in Hardcore Classic WoW. We are looking a little spooky today. We currently have the Curse of Blood debuff for another four seconds. There we go. We lost it. And last episode, we came to Duskwood, guys. We will be questing here for a little bit Seasoned longer. Do a few more favorite. quests, and then we'll make sure, our way I to my lands. But first, I'll need the supplies. Bring me ten lean wolf flanks, as well as some stormwind seasoning herbs. There are so many wolves here in the forest, I'm recipe. sure finding the flanks will be no problem. For the herbs, seek out Felicia Gump in her Canal District flower shop in Stormwind. Oh, we gotta go to Stormwind to get the herbs. We also made some auctions last episode. Let's see what we got here. I made a couple of sales. That's good. I also mailed myself few items that we will be uh, equipping, I believe. Yeah, they are 100% upgrades. This sure is. When we get to level 30 and 32. All right, so we made a little bit of coin. We're back to being at 10 gold. We have to watch out for stitches, guys. Let's pick up some more quests here. Deliveries Life to Sven. With you. Do you know Sven? Now there is a man who does the work of the light. He and his followers keep a camp at the northwestern edge of Duskwood. Unfortunately, because they are so few, they cannot even spare a man to fetch supplies from town. Will you deliver these supplies to him? Yeah, there we go. The hermit. There was an old man who used to come into town to buy supplies rather frequently, but I haven't seen him for quite some time now. He lives out in a shack overlooking Ravenhill Cemetery, if I remember correctly. Perhaps you should go see if something is amiss. Well, it looks there like we, we don't have to too many to supplies rather frequently, quests but I haven't we can seen him for up. quite some time now. Our quest log is he almost lives full. out in a shack overlooking Ravenhill Cemetery, if I remember correctly. Probably get rid of this Perhaps one. you should go see if something is amiss. Something's amiss at Ravenhill, adventurer. Kaller swears that someone or something is haunting the... the totem of infliction. Greetings. As the mystical taint creeps through the forest... The need for self-protection is undeniable, adventurer. The winds whisper to me and they speak of a great danger which waits patiently for you in the near future. If you wish to protect yourself, noble adventurer, bring to me ten ghoul fangs, ten skeleton fingers, and five vials of spider venom. For you, I shall enchant a totem of infliction which will harm those who attempt violent acts against you. All right, guys. I think that's enough quests for now. And we will try to complete as many of these as we can. Light up this way and we'll fight some wolves while we make our way over to the Hermit and Shpen. Yeah, our quest log is pretty close to being full. We have some dungeon quests still and a few more to turn in. Looks like we will have to make our way back to Stormwind we may do today and we also could potentially hit level 30 today i guess looking for more 32 plus morbid fell yeah he's an elite it's a tough quest to do solo this guy's name is stay living level 35 human rogue hope you guys are doing well today I'm doing pretty good. Happy to be back playing Hardcore WoW once again. We have been raiding quite a bit in ICC. Trying to get Heroic Lich King down. But it's been fun. I've enjoyed it. Great time to come back to Wrath of the Lich King, I think. Let's 
sucks that these wolves are all 21, man. Like, it feels like I shouldn't even be here. <laughs> like, why can't they be a little higher than this? Makes me think the questy is wrong. Like, this is a level 25 quest. No, it's not. It's a level 21 quest, man. I have been scammed. Thing is, we can just buy the lean wolf flank if we want to. The spider venom as well. Let's head over here. Maybe we can find some... some maybe down here would have higher level spiders. I want to fight stuff that gives us XP. So we'll just head over to the Hermit and Shven. And then we'll make our way south. The Hermit is an interesting character. Probably one of the most interesting characters in all of Lazaroth. meat yet. Incoming stitches. This is why you want general chat open during your time leveling in Duskwood. Because... You gotta watch out for stitches. He starts to round Ravenclaw. I won't tell you exactly where he starts, but because that kind of ruins it. Ruins like a quest chain. If I tell you that, but he starts around here. That's where the walk starts, and then he makes his way down to the road, and then he walks all the way up to Darkshire. So beware. At least we got a couple lean wolf flanks. Everyone's all worried about stitches right now. At least he doesn't grip. Could you imagine if he was like he gripped anybody on sight? Like if he's walking on the road, he just grips you, and then you just get one shot. That would be brutal. <laughs> At least he doesn't do that, right? This guy's trolling. Yeah, he's bugged out and ran loose in Darkshire a couple times. That. I, I, I doubt that. I never died to stitches. The way you do, the way you avoid stitches is you just stay off the road. Gives you a pretty good chance of not getting killed by him. And Elaine you pay attention Carabin. to oh, general yeah, chat. Of course, the caravans. No, nothing's wrong, but it is hard for me to go into town now. The roads are dangerous, and I'm not getting any younger. Maybe you can do an old man some favors. <laughs> an interesting voice of choice for this character. Abercrombie the Hermit. Have a good one. Oh, what is a poor old man to do? I need some supplies from Darkshire, but the village is so far away and I am so old and feeble, I would never make the trip. Can you go to Darkshire and bring me back some ghost hair thread? You can get it from Madam Ava at her home on the Darkshire Square. There we go. Beginning of the Hermit Quest chain. Alright, so let's let her head over here. We'll have a chat with Shvin. 
He has a pretty cool quest chain as well. Rampaged in the inn? How the heck can Stitches get in the inn? Oh, what the heck? I wonder if that's true. That would be terrifying if you got in the inn. Usually people go to the inn to get for safety, right? The weathered grave. Oh, okay. Yeah, Sven's all the way down here. Yeah, I thought the inn would be a safe place. Usually it is because the guards usually mess them up, man. So you don't really have to worry about it. But I, I think the only way to get him in the inn is if a level 60 tank comes and taunts. Or if a hundred level 60 hunter comes, brings him into the inn, and then feign deaths. That can happen as well. It has to be somebody grieving for him to, to get inside the inn, that's for sure. King's honor, friend. There he is, Sven. You look like a sturdy type warrior. Have you come to join our fight? These supplies will be most useful. The aid of the Karevan family is always appreciated. Here is a little something for your trouble. Okay. Yeah, we gotta pick up the next one. I used to work one of the farms Spencer in the southeast Bench. until dark riders from Deadwind Pass descended upon my farm and slaughtered my family when I was away. When I returned, I saw a shadowy figure skulking near my barn, burying something. He fled before I could catch him, and I couldn't linger, for I was hot on the heels of the dark riders, so I never discovered what was hidden. If you can find what that shadowy figure buried, I would be grateful. The hiding spot is behind the old stump near my barn. Maybe we gotta go down to the barn. Maybe we'll make our way down there today. While we're dealing with these spiders and wolves. They're still pretty low level here. <laughs> I hope it goes up by a bit as we move south. Because I really don't... I want to fight mobs that are at least green. Like, I'm not doing this on purpose, guys. I just <laughs> honestly thought that they would be around my level. Like if the if the if the quest says twenty five, they have to be at least close to that level, somewhere in this this town, right? Or in Duskwood, like should find some. There we go. There's a level twenty. It's a little better. Well, these ones twenty. Yeah, I think they're all twenty. Getting close to the road. I just went by the road. I want to get this recipe. We could use... Oh, damn it. We now have rabies. Health regeneration reduced by 50%. Strength reduced by 6. And agility reduced by 6 for 10 minutes. So now we won't be able to kick that. Be okay though. Go over here, maybe there's some higher level wolves. Yeah, 
there's some spiders there. 22 green recluse, but they don't drop the, the vile spider venom. Which is too bad. I want to collect this stuff because the meat's good to collect. Oh, there we go. There's a 23. Perfect. That's what we're looking for here. Let's get some XP off of these guys. Make our way over to Shen's old home. We'll look for the the mound of dirt. Planks we need. We have five, so we're halfway there. All right, Stitches is dead, which means we are now safe for now. I wonder if we'll see him. I hope we don't, but we might. <laughs> I think we already have seen him. Yeah, we have seen him in town. I think the first time we came to Duskwood, Stitches attacked the town. So we have seen him before. During this playthrough. Flanks to go. And then we'll just have to focus on the spiders next. What's up here? More copper? Oh, tin. Nice. Go snipe that while our health slowly regens because we have rabies. One good thing about being a Brawl Warrior, you barely take any damage. You have a decent amount of utility, more utility than you would have as a Fury or Arms Warrior. I guess you could say it's the same amount. Maybe, like, you wouldn't have Last Stand if you were Arms or Fury, which helps a lot. But they can put on, a like, a sword and a shield. It's just not as effective. 
as, as when you're a pro warrior because you have, you know, shield specialization, proof shield block. Can't wait till you lose rabies here. And copper went up quite a bit. It used to be one silver per copper, and now it's a silver 10 copper, so it went up by 10 copper. Bad. Keep looking for wolves here. At least we found a spot where we can get XP. There's a little ogre camp, like, right over here, so we got to watch out for that. Make our way around it. And we got the Buccaneer's Vest of the Owl, which is an intellect spirit chest, level 18. For, for a clothy. This one is worth 19 silver. BOEs have gone down quite a bit. I think that's because... So many have been farmed. So there's just more items on the auction house than there is buyers at the moment. There's probably less people playing the game too, I think. It's been out for over a month, so the hype has has for sure died down, right? That's how it goes with every new game. There's it's like a month of hype at at most. And then it goes down. By quite a bit. Still a lot of people playing, though. But as you can see, guys, like, we have Deathlog up, and, like, there's not that many people dying. I assume a lot of people probably have it turned off. And as you can see, most of the deaths... Or below level 20. There's some 30s in there. You can hear some stealthies. You should watch out for that. Alright, so we're going to have to make our way to the road if we want to get to Sven's house. Head over there now. There's some wolves around there. This light. And then for spiders, I think we'll just have to go here or here for the spider venom. This might be a good spot. Because we can get the venom and also slay, get, slay some skeletal horrors. And the hair we need to get for the hermit is also in this area. Dakocho has reached level 60. Congratulations. I wish it would say, like, Dakocho the warrior or the paladin, you know what I mean? Just to know what class they were. Ah, oh, somebody died. Level 2. <laughs> In Tedrasel, died to a Grelkin. A little imp. Interested to see what this server will be like in six months. The Hardcore Season of Mastery server is... It died down quite a bit. It, it, it honestly, when I was finishing leveling up my rogue, I felt like I was like one of the only people on the server. There's maybe, maybe ten of us leveling on it. Oh, good. We can get spider down from these black widow looking spiders here the black widow hatchlings and since i i have not been playing they've cleared uh the guild frontier they cleared um 
the entire raid. All the raids. Kalthazad has gone down. The main tank actually died at the end, which was uh, an epic ending. You know, the captain of the team went down with the ship. So it was a pretty epic journey to KT, but they got it down in not much time at all, just over a month. I think around, yeah, over around two months, maybe. Close to two months it took them to do it. The amount of time it took them to do it. Oh, wow. New debuff, guys. Infected Bite. Nature, 15 nature damage inflicted every 10 seconds. Physical damage taken is increased by 5. Well, there we go. That 50 damage every second kind of sucks. Imagine getting this and rabies. Good thing is our spear regen heals faster than the damage we're taking from infected bite. We're out of combat. We don't really have to worry about infected bite too much. It is a crappy dot to have on us while we're out here farming in Duskwood. Gonna make our way over to Sven's home, his old home, before it got destroyed by. Let's see who destroyed it. I think he mentions it in the quest. Yeah, the Dark Riders. If you guys don't know who the Dark Riders are, they actually are like skeletons, or I don't know, undead, it seems like they are. And they are enslaved by Medivh. And Medivh uses them to collect ancient artifacts that he deems to be valuable. So that is what they are doing in Dusk, where they're looking for an, or, or an ancient artifact. I'm not going to mention what it's called, because um, there's a quest that explains that. I will probably do later on. And if you guys don't know who Medivh is, Medivh is uh, he's the, the, the wizard or the mage who opened up the, the portal to Outland and brought the orcs into Azeroth in uh, I think it's right here the burning stuff no it should be up here right the blasted lands yeah right down here and he's also one of the bosses I believe you fight in Karazhan do you fight Medivh in Karazhan I kind of forget Karazhan's right down here. But Karazhan was his uh, the residence where he would he would reside. I think you do fight him in Karazhan, don't you? At the end, you fight a demon, right? You fight a demon in the of the Burning Legion, from what I remember. I haven't done Karazhan in a while since uh, TBC came out. Uh, last year or a year and a half ago. Okay, well, I forgot what our shoot button is. Usually, it was a mouse button before. There it is. Oh, we have it as C now. I changed that. So it's good we're warming up <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I took a little break from the hardcore character for a few
few days or a week. Just to, to make sure I got the rogue up to level 100 for season one ended in Diablo 4. We were able to do it. I think I mentioned that last episode. Yeah, we'll slowly make our way in here. It's going to take us a little bit of time. I don't really know if we need a food buff, but maybe we will. We don't have any more debuffs, which is good. We need some Murloc Pin Soup and get ourselves six stamina and six spirit. Maybe the dirt pile is just over here. It might not be in the barn, actually. Yeah, it's right there. Need to watch out, though. We could aggro this enchanter. Maybe while we're outside of the home. Yeah, I gotta shake off all the rust before we get into a dungeon. <laughs> I'm gonna be playing a lot of hardcore now. Since we're done with Diablo for a little bit. A mound of dirt is here. Hastily piled up as if someone had need of hiding something without much time to do it. Digging through the mound, you find a small dirt-stained book. The book has no title, but it has information Sven would like to know. Right, so there we go. We got a book. And we can check out while we're farming a few more wolves and spiders, guys. Got to make sure we... hamstring these humans because they like to run away. Let's make our way out of here. Get back to farming wolves and spiders. So we'll check out this book. Book from Sven's farm. The terror of these past few weeks is almost more than I can bear. Yet, I feel that I that by writing down that which I've seen, I will somehow be comforted. So I do it. And it is the only comfort I have these bleak days. It began with the finding of that cursed scythe in Roland's tomb. Before the scythe, the terrors of this place seemed as tame as Northshire Valley. But ever since I found the haft of the scythe jutting from the pile of rubble in the mine and cursed me, pulled it free, Roland's tomb became a place of vile death. After the scythe was freed, they came at us from everywhere, clawing from hidden holes at our feet and dropping upon us from silent perches above. Half our men fell in those first panicked minutes. The rest, including myself, tried to flee. As I ran, I saw so many of my brothers taken by tooth and claw. Uh-oh. Okay, let's see if we can do this. As I ran, I saw so many of my brothers taken by tooth and claw. Heard so many screams cut short or gurgle to silence. Let's make sure we don't die here, guys. That would be probably a good idea. <laughs> we have last stand, though. We have a lot of outs. Not too worried. If it was three wolves, I could, I could be a little more worried. Should be okay here. Scroll out a little bit. Just need to watch out. Have a bite to eat after this. There we go. We're done with the lean wolf. Like we can focus on spiders now. I can only guess why I survived that night. I have always been cautious, always quick to flinch from jabs and leap free 
of pitfalls. My nickname comes from this trait. So perhaps it was just that knack for caution that saved me. Or maybe it was the scythe I pulled from the rubble. It cannot be the scythe itself, for I lost it during my fanatic flight. But if it was I who brought the worgen to Duskwood, then perhaps the worgen afforded me a rare courtesy. Curse them. After surviving the flight from Roland's doom, I had within a barn owned by a man named Schven. I spent a few days in the barn, and such horror lingered with me that I never once made myself known to Schven or his family. But from what I saw from my hiding place, I knew these farmers were quite decent folk. Had I stepped from my concealment, I think they would have taken me in. But trust is hard for me. Harder still after that shock in the mind, so I remained hidden. The rest of the book is blank. Alright, so there we go, guys. So that seems to be a story of somebody who found a scythe. And it summoned the Dark Riders. And the Dark Riders, right? They work for Medivh. And they want that scythe. Because Medivh wants it. So they're just destroying everything in Duskwood until they find it. And I've just noticed that our helm is broken. Maybe we should, uh... Should we make our way back to Duskwood? Not too sure. I mean, Darkshire? Should we focus on the spiders? I think we'll go kill the spiders, guys. We need to watch out, though. Because, uh, Stitches does make his way through here. So we need to be alert. If he does get, does, you know, spawn and make his way down to the road. Oh, this guy died to Gore Tusk. That's a rough death. <laughs> Level 12 warrior. Pretty high up right here. In here, there's actually, you know, like a couple of elites here. It's actually a raid boss you can fight. I don't know why we're making our way up there. We should probably head back. Fight a dragon. It's too bad our helmet's broken. It'll be okay, though. I'm taking a little bit of a risk here by not going back to town and repairing it, but I think we'll be fine. We're going to hit level 30 soon. And hopefully we'll still be a high enough level, level to get still get XP from these spiders. Level 24, so... I think we'll still be able to. I think 23 will now be great. Let's go. There we go, we got a debuff. Good old infected bite. Some of them are twenty five. Go level thirty, guys. Got some crisp spider meat. A lot of junk in our bags too. So, what talent do we want next? Defiance increases the threat generated by your attacks by three percent while in defensive stance. Or do we take improved revenge? I think we go with a revenge. It's also improved disarm, improved taunt. Yeah. 
The threat generation would be better though for dungeons. And like I barely use revenge when I'm out questing because I like, stay in battle stance most of the time. So maybe we'll start building up defiance after this. Okay. Oh, Hunter died. Drowned in Desolus? What the heck? How do you drown in Desolus? Oh, there's a quest out in the ocean, I think. Pull this guy back. Got a tin vein over there. This is, it's a rough way to die, man. Level 36. And you drown in Desolus? He either DC'd in the water... I almost died that way on my road. Or he literally just like forgot that he was underwater and just drowned. No, May, man. 36 warrior. And he's got uh He's got whirlwind axe. He actually did the quest. It's actually a better axe though, which is funny. Alliance get a better axe than whirlwind axe from a Scarlet Monastery quest. Get the name of it. Check Alice Loot here. If the quest will tell you the quest items. Scared the crap out of me. Getting a little reckless over here. It's trash blood spiller. Some keys we need to pick up. I don't think it'll tell us the quest items. Yeah. It won't. But there's an axe that's better than... It's from one of the quests we're going to end up picking up. Then after SM, I think we'll be like... Oh, probably in our 40s. And then we'll start going... We'll go arms for a bit. And level up. And then maybe we'll... We'll probably do couple more dungeons, like... Hey, Mardon. Zulfarak, for sure. That's an easy one. Oh! See? We got so lucky, dude. Look how fast he is. Stage just spawned. I seen him. Almost died. Got lucky. I get lucky, man. I'm telling you, I'm lucky. I'm going this way. Not going even close to the road, but when we get to Duskwood, we might see stitches there. Okay, so there we go. We warned them. Damn, we got lucky there, man. See, see that's what I was saying. We had to be watch. We got to watch out. And I'm like looking at items. Now what do we do? Let's go see Shran. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go see Shran, and then we're gonna make our way here, and we're gonna deliver the Rathban ore, and then maybe we'll make our way over to Stormwind. And then we can just fly back to Duskwood eventually. For some reason, I want to keep my hearth at Aberdeen. Just so we can go to the other side of the world and, like, snap, like, you know, one hearth. Because there are some quests there that I want to do. In Ashenvale, there's a elixir that if you use it only alliance can get it. it's an alliance quest and if you use it you don't take any damage you're vulnerable to damage and you can just hearth so we want to get that we might as well get it while we still get xp for it so I'll probably head over there soon yeah we got lucky stitches would have completely wrecked us we can't run away from him see how fast he walks
There's like no way we would have lived. I get lucky. I do get lucky a lot in these playthroughs. Probably should have died on my rogue a few times. Same with this warrior. You know, let's give Sven this book, and then we'll turn in the Wrath Banor. Then we can make our way back to Stormwind. Put some items up on the auction house. Greetings. Found what? Please let me see it. That shadowy figure I saw was a witness to my family's death. There are questions I'd like to ask that man. If only I knew who he was. I must know who was that skulker in the shadows I saw the night my family was killed. Please, adventurer. You have shown your resourcefulness. Please find that shadowy figure. I must learn what secrets he holds. I do not have clues that you do not already know, but here, take the book you found at my farm. Perhaps some of the townsfolk can link this book with its owner. There we go. All right, off to Elwyn Forest we go. We're going to turn in the Rathban Or. So many people doing that stitches qu stitches quest, man. So as we didn't die, but we're safe now. I don't think Hogger can kill us. There's a dwarf warrior. He's about to fight Hogger. You can tell, though, it's gone. Actually, there's still a lot of people, like, low-level questing, man. Like, look at this place. A couple people out here farming. Oh, we gotta go all the way to Northshire. There's a savage. <laughs> I think he's doing duo questing now. He's questing with a paladin, so should be pretty damn safe. He's half health right now, though. We're just going to focus on turning this quest in here. I'm not really going to do any mining. Like right now, so many classes have like speed or mobility abilities. We kind of do. Like we can, you know, charge this cow. It's like our, our mobility right there is just charging whatever we can. It's chickens as well. So we'll leave those chickens alone. Level one human warrior. We're in a good spot on the word though. We have last stand, shield wall. Once you get that, you're pretty hard to kill. I think we could have took a couple of hits from stitches. And if I went D stance, last stand, 
and shield wall. We potentially could have ran away as long as we don't pull more stuff. Probably would have just kept going north with them. She got to run and we can't attack them. If we attack them, then we're leashing and then we can leash for quite a while. So we kind of just have to run and block. It'd be tough. We get dazed pretty quick. But we have the armor to survive. If anybody would survive, it would be us. Or a rogue with banish. Or a hunter with feign death. That's pretty much it. Oh yeah, we would survive. We could use... I wonder if this could actually taunt him. Like the target dummy? Yeah, the target dummy would have... We could have easily survived. I think the first thing I should do is target dummy there. And then run. And then if he gets close, you do the last stand shield wall health pot. Man, this place is kind of confused. There he is. I always How get confused in this chapel. Do you have the Rethban ore? Oh, splendid. I can use this ore to make my die and then can finish copying the stresses of iron. Thank you, adventurer. Now that I've finished copying the, wandering the book, boots. here's the original stresses of iron. Thank you for your patience, and if you see Milton, please tell him I'm sorry for the long delay. All right, now we just have to return that to Kristoff. Let's make our way out of here. to get rid of some items. I want the spider meat, though. The gooey spider legs. I don't know if these can turn into food, maybe. Charge of this guy here. And wait. The gates of Stormwind. I think once we get 15 more levels, we'll be halfway to 60. I think 45 is halfway. It takes quite a while to get from 45 to 60. You know you are getting more XP from the mobs you're slaying. We still have to repair our gear, so that's going to be the first thing we do when we get to Stormwind. Who's this guy? It's like a ghost. He has the ghost costume. Nice. I didn't know you can get that. Best deals in all of Stormwind, my friend. Won't find any better. Now, what can I help you with? I'm solid junk. Best yeah. deals in all of Stormwind, my friend. Won't find any better. Now, what can I help you with?
All right, well, we got a lot yeah. of stuff here. It's good we came back to Stormwind. Let's make some heavy wool bandages. Or do we need the wool for engineering? I'm not sure. Welcome to the Bank of Stormwind. We offer financial accounts and safety deposit How much boxes we can for put in valuable here? items. Do you already have an account with us, sir? Not at the moment. Spider silk. Yeah, the bronze bars are worth crafting. Let's craft more of those. The tin and copper that we get. Probably take a couple bars here and we'll do a little bit of smelting. Safe travels. Welcome to the Bank of Stormwind. We offer financial There's a lot of core stone as well that we can sell. Valuable items. Do you already have an account with us, sir? Been trying to sell this king's blood for a while. See you around. Let's get these BOEs that we have and try to sell them again. These items we could try to sell, but we'll hold on to them. They're upgrades. Put a bunch of stuff on the auction. I'll see if it sells. Is this selling for seven silver each? Bad. It's around like a gold, gold forty. Maybe we should put those up. Couple 20 stacks. I'll put like gold 39. See if it sells. So people might pay a little. It's like a little bit more, but it is a stack. There's the Wrath Ban Ore. We should sell that as well. Spider Icker. A lot of the stuff we should have just vendored. Not too low. A lot of these are just too low to sell. Which means we should probably just vendor them. Anything else for us to put there? The small venom sack, probably. Large venom sack. Gooey spider legs. So why not? Still, we can use these now. For spider meat. Sell some linen cloth. And this Buccaneer's Vest of the Owl. Scroll of Agility we'll hold on to. We can use that. A Mana Pot we don't need. Yeah, everything else seems to be good so far. Fender a few things. Welcome to my inn, weary traveler. What can I do for you? I 
And everything else we should hold on to. All right, so in the next episode, we'll we'll check our auctions out, guys. See if we made any coin. Do a little bit, Safe put some that stuff back up, and then we'll head over here. We'll turn in the return to Kristoff quest, and then we will be making our way back to Darkshire, and we'll turn in a few quests here that we completed, and we'll do some more quests that we need to get done. But we survived today, guys. We didn't die to stitches. We we almost ran into them, though. Happy we didn't. And we are going to live for another day. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.